What's up, boys? It's your boy, Yuki, and today I'm going to be talking about love. And the fact that, wow, in media, love is portrayed as this perfect thing that you can find and that everyone will find at some point, and that's just bullshit. <laughs> Real talk, no one is perfect. There is no one person perfect for you. That's just a lie. But there are people that get very, very close. There's just everyone has some type of bullshit that you have to deal with and the important thing is that you're willing to get past that bullshit to get to the good shit that's just how it is and i've had my fair time in dealing with love uh as you can tell by the bulbasaur drip i got the bulbasaur earrings on deck the bulbasaur sweater and even the glasses to match i get ladies by the pound like i get so much pussy that i'm drowning in it bro it's like a it's like a health hazard really <laughs> You know, I'm proof that anyone can get love. <laughs> wow, that's sad. But anyways, I have some experiences and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes as me. And if I can even help one of you to not make the same mistake that I did or avoid it entirely, then I did my job. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a story from high school. In my freshman year of high school, there was only one girl that I've ever actually felt that I'd say... I loved and this girl I met in my freshman year of high school in marching band <laughs> yeah of all places marching band <laughs> yes I was in marching band I was in alto sax and I was the goddamn best one all right don't, don't even don't even at me bro don't even at me don't even at me <laughs> but the way it works in marching band is that each section is separated by instruments and you group with people the same, in same instrument so as me an alto sax player I was grouped with the alto sax players and one of them was this girl uh, we're gonna call her futaba just because i don't want to use her real name I, I don't know it just feels weird to use her real name if she's watching this she'll know what it is and uh this is a joke don't yeah he bad <laughs> i'm sorry if you're watching this basically but in my freshman year, there was a girl in my alto sax class. She was one year older than me, and we got really close really fast. We just vibed with each other. It just felt right. It felt right. And it was just that simple. We laughed at each other's jokes, and it wasn't fake laughter. At least, I hope not. It was just a great, good, jolly old time. And hell, we didn't... I liked her so goddamn much, and it was just personality. I liked her body too, but we never did that sexual shit. That was never the reason I liked her. And we actually ended up together. And you might be thinking, well, then, Yuki, isn't that a W that didn't? That's great, right? You're still with her. Well, I, I said I made mistakes. That that was the mistake. <laughs> I broke up with her. Yeah, I, look, I know. It's the dumbest shit that I've ever fucking done in my entire goddamn life. Honestly, literally the biggest mistake in my entire goddamn life uh, so far. I'm 18, I'm still young, and I can still make a lot more mistakes. But so far, she's the biggest one. I really like this girl, and the reason was because in my high school, there's two separate campuses. One for freshmen, and the other campus for the, uh, the other three years. Um she was in the other campus and so we didn't see each other much once marching band ended and she was a very studious student is that how you say that i don't know i wasn't a studious student because as you can tell so <laughs> she was very smart uh, in school and she did great in school and she was putting a lot of time that and she had some religion stuff to do I i'm not a very religious person i'm actually an atheist i don't try to be pretentious about it but it feels like you kind of have to be but anyways um yeah, so she couldn't give me much time. And so for three months, that's what happened. She wasn't really able to text me or go out ever because she was always just busy. At least that's what she's told me. And as of now, I don't have any reason to believe that she was lying because it'd be weird if she was. But I chose to break up with her because of that. Because I felt lonely and... <sighs> there was another girl. And this girl didn't feel right. It didn't feel the same it never felt the same hell i was with the girl with the girl that i broke up with her when i broke up with her the girl that i got with i was with her for four years and throughout those four years there were many 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 times that i thought i should just break up with her because she did really dumb things and i didn't there's a lot of things i didn't like about her but the girl or futaba as i called her i liked her a lot a lot a lot i fucking loved her 
and I threw it all away because I'm a goddamn fucking dumbass. And that's why I'm here to tell you guys, right? Don't do the same thing I did. Look, if there's a person that you really, really like and have an emotional connection to and you enjoy every single goddamn second, but there's another person and they're offering to give you just free sexual attention, which is what happened to me. Don't fucking take it. The pussy isn't worth it. The dick isn't worth it. The whatever they have isn't worth it. Trust me. I know from personal experience, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Because when I broke up with her and then this other girl basically threw herself at me, look, it was fun. And that's how I lost my virginity to that girl. But it was never worth it. And honestly, still to this day, and this is what, four or five years later, uh, almost every other day I think about it, how I just fucked up so bad. And I don't know if I'll ever get someone that I can be attached to as much as her. I made a huge mistake. Don't do the same shit that I did. If you really like someone, you keep that shit. You do whatever you have to do to keep that shit. Don't be crazy. Don't be insane. They have to like you back too. <laughs> don't stalk them, but you don't give up on it. I did. And it was a horrible mistake. And to this day, I, I, I can't make up for it. I fucked up and I just have to take it. I just have to hope that I can find someone else that I can go with again. And not just for sexual reasons, but for actual personality. And, you know, honestly, I don't know if I ever will. I'm hopeful, but it's it's hard to think that I can ever find someone better than her. So I fucked up. Don't do what I did. Personality always beats out looks, no matter what you think. If you're considering two people for whatever reason, and one of them is based on looks and one is based on personality, always go with personality. Just trust me. It'll be better for, for you, for your heart, for your life. Just... For God's sakes, trust me. Um, yeah. So, moral of the story, uh, don't break up with a girl you really like like a fucking dumbass. I, I guess that's really the whole point of this, right? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, um, I'm gonna make a much more edited video version of, of about love on my second channel i might upload it here too i'm not sure yet but it's gonna be way more edited um and to any of you watching this right now thank you guys for sticking around i appreciate you all i'll try to upload more i just don't know what to upload yet but yeah don't do what i did i hope you guys learned from this if any of you actually listen to this and it works out for you to the fucking moon bro peace out y'all have a great god diggity dang night. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. <laughs>